This is the free motion quilting tutorial for stone portals. This design is stitched by first starting with a series of cubing, kind of, um, well, you could say walls more than anything else. You're creating kind of a row of cubing, and that's just these stacked squares. And you want to vary the size and shape of these and just kind of have fun stitching them in all shapes and sizes, rectangles, squares, just lots of straight lines and sharp angles into your quilting space. And you can see I'm kind of creating, I went across and then I'm now I'm create. I'm kind of stitching down and I'm going to square this off to create a square shape and then I'm going to fill that square shape with another design. So it's kind of a multi-step process and it's a really interesting texture that you get out of this design because you can see how much travel stitching is involved when it comes to the cubing. There's lots of travel stitching. I'm passing back over those lines of stitching many times and that's making those areas darker. Now I'm going to fill in that little gap, that little square created by those cubing walls with some circuit board and this is a straight line sharp angled variation of stippling. It's basically what would happen to stippling if you stitched it on a grid. Uh, all straight lines and sharp angles. And this is extremely tiny and I know it's kind of difficult to see in this video because my foot is hopping up and down. But I hope you can see the difference of the two textures, how much those big cubes stand out against this tiny um, circuit board texture and how the two come together to create a really interesting effect on the surface of this little quilt square. So to move on with the design, it's really very simple. You can expand in any direction with your cubing walls. So if you wanted to, you could just keep on working in a straight line, you could work straight down your quilt, you could work diagonally. It's really however you want to take it. It's just simply creating these small squares, these small pockets of space, and filling that in with that beautiful independent design of circuit board. And you can see now what this looks like after you have filled in a good section of your quilt with it. And it really has a funky texture. This would be an excellent design for a quilt for a guy. If you are a guy quilter or if you're making a quilt for your grandson, a teenager, or uh, you know just any guy I think would really enjoy this design because it's not flowery or frilly. It's very masculine. Lots of straight lines and sharp angles. And it also reminds me of mazes that I often find in video games like Wolfenstein. So I think they would probably like it just for that. So bearing all of that in mind, here's what it looks like whenever you finish Stone Portals. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, check out the Free Motion Quilting Project and please share it with your friends. Find it at freemotionproject.com.